This is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people no longer. It is now a government by the corporations, of the corporations, and for the corporations. That was President Rutherford B. Hayes at a time when rail companies were catapulting America into the world's leading industrial power. But behind the Gilded Age was greed and corruption. Tycoons lined the pockets of politicians while gobbling up American land acre by acre. Bribing public officials has always been a part of the business, and occasionally the FBI catches wind of it. The undercover FBI operation led to the arrest and convictions of one senator and several congressmen and others. The lawmakers were caught on tape accepting bribes from agents posing as Middle Eastern businessmen trying to obtain political favors for a foreign Arab sheik. I was under the impression, okay, and I told Howard we were willing to pay. I went out, we, I got the 50000 okay? But I'm not interested. Okay. okay. Now, uh, uh, I'm not saying that someday I, you know, you, you, you made an offer. It may be that I would change my mind someday. You know, I'm going to be there 20 years in that guy's Congress. I know what I can do and what I can't do. Now, the grease never ends because yesterday the feds broke up New York Democrat political machine, big time. In the largest bribery scheme ever uncovered by the Justice Department, 70 New York City bureaucrats were raided busted for a multi-million dollar pay-to-play kickback operation. It's been going on for a decade. NYCHA superintendents, assistant superintendents, and others responsible for the care and maintenance of public housing, a scarce resource in this city, allegedly used their positions of public trust and responsibility to solicit and receive bribes from NYCHA vendors as a cost of doing business. Over two million in bribe payments in total. The 70 current and former NYCHA staff members charged today in separate bribery schemes touch every borough of New York City. New York Democrat officials running housing projects in all five boroughs were on the take from contractors. These dirty bureaucrats took a cut from a third of all contracts, making 10 to 20 percent of each job. And just like Hunter Biden, they texted the bribes. Like this one from a co-conspirator, quote, Babe, could you put a company through for someone? That's been my side hustle, LOL, a thousand per. Or this one, a thousand, cool. No problem, babe, as long as you're getting blessed. Aw. Here's groundskeeper Rigo Roberto Chariez, whose life motto was the secret to getting ahead is getting started. Rigo skimmed $70,000 off the top of contracts, and now Rigo's little secret's out. The Bronx Housing Project superintendent made $83,000 in bribes for doling out just three contracts. He didn't lay low. He splurged on a family vacay in Venice. Champagne, truffles, gondola rides. Get it, Dwarka. One superintendent in Queens pocketed over 150 Gs. Another superintendent, though, Juan Mercado, he was the greediest. $315,000 taking triple his salary off the top of just a few no-bid contracts. Mr. Branch pocketed three grand in kickbacks, and his boss called him a hero who, quote, gives all to his job. Not the NYPD. Corrupt bureaucrats on the take are Democrats' heroes. They took bribes and racked up an $80 billion hole in the budget, while the projects they oversaw crumbled into disrepair. Democrats steal from poor minorities and call Republicans greedy racists. Go figure. This kind of corruption's entrenched in every inner city in America. Growing the government with a patronage mill of DEI hires who take kickbacks and let urban America rot. The federal government's even worse. Remember when the GSA spent 800,000 bucks of our cash on a Vegas party? Guzzling Cabernet and hot tubs? Remember that guy? Remember when FEMA went to Maui and booked themselves into the Four Seasons for two weeks? Each room over a thousand a night? And then you have John Kerry, who flies around the world on our dime and demands more of our money or the world's going to end. It's a zero-sum game. The bigger the government grows, the more taxpayers get hosed. Did you know last year 20% of all of Biden's so-called new jobs were government jobs? We pay for those jobs. And 10% of job growth was welfare for illegals. 
Biden's job growth is more of a mirage than the Nikki Haley campaign. No offense, Nikki. The border bill was just a government jobs program for amnesty. Politicians wanted to hire 4,000 asylum officers to rubber stamp asylum requests. Remember the main qualification for hiring anybody, especially an asylum officer, is equity, says the binder? Translation, the DEI hires are approving every asylum request and they grow the ranks of government unions and their dues go to Democrat super PACs. I guarantee you Biden's DEI asylum officers probably taking kickbacks from asylum applicants. Little envelope under the table. Yep. Welcome to America. The entire structure of the government's pay to play. But I'm sure the election officials are clean.